Hello, welcome to another conceptual video. In this conceptual video, I am talking about the arrangement of genes on chromosome or the arrangement of linked genes on chromosome. There are two types of arrangement. One is the cis arrangement, another is the trans arrangement. And there are somehow confusion regarding the cis arrangement and the trans arrangement. So let's say here, suppose that this is the Suppose that this is the one pair of homologous chromosome. This is the one pair of homologous chromosome. And this is another pair of homologous chromosome. So now I am making two pair of homologous chromosome. Suppose that this pair out of two homologous chromosome, one pair or one chromosome which contains capital A and the capital B. Suppose that these are the dominant alleles, capital A and the capital B. And the homology site of the capital A, that is the small a, and the homology site of the another chromosome of the capital B, that is the small b. So, small a, this is the recessive allele of the capital A, and small b, this is the recessive allele of the capital B. So, it means that, the single chromosome in this pair, in this homologous pair, the single chromosome which contains both dominant alleles and another chromosome which contains both recessive alleles. And such type of arrangement is known as the cis arrangement. This is known as the cis arrangement. Now come to the another type of arrangement. Suppose that this is the another pair of chromosome and in this pair the single chromosome out of these two, the single chromosome which contains suppose that capital A and the homology site of the capital A which contains small a. So this is the recessive allele of the capital A. But another homologous site of the homologous chromosome which contains small b and the homology site of the another chromosome which contains capital B. So here single the out of two chromosomes of the homologous chromosome pair, the one chromosome which contains capital A and small b and another chromosome which contains small a and capital B. So this is the arrangement of the gene and such type of arrangement which is known as the trans. This is known as the trans arrangement. Trans means cross. So this is the this is the both dominant alleles and this is the both recessive alleles and this is the cross like pattern. That's why it is known as the trans arrangement. At the time of gamete formation, at the time of gamete formation, both these are the linked gene because the single chromosome which contains both the genes here. Suppose that this is the chromosome and here there is the capital A and capital B which enter into the one gamete and another chromosome which contains small a and small b. So along with the inherent of the chromosome these genes enter into the same gamete. So this gamete which contains capital A and capital B, both the dominant alleles and this gamete which contains both the recessive alleles. If the alleles arranged in a cis pattern, if the alleles arranged in the trans pattern, then the gamete which contains one capital, one dominant alleles a and another alleles small b. If there is the trans arrangement, then another gamete would contains small a and capital B because this is the trans arrangement. So these genes or these alleles are linked because all are present in a single chromosome. That's why with the movement of chromosome, all the genes, all the alleles tend to inherent and enter into the same gamete. This concept is known as the linkage or the linked gene.
So, because of the trans arrangement, one gamete which contains one capital or the 50% capital alleles and 50% recessive alleles and here one contains 50% recessive alleles one and 50% dominant alleles. But in cis arrangement, one gamete which contains all the dominant alleles and another gamete which contains all the recessive alleles and this is the known as the cis and the trans arrangement of alleles or the linked genes on chromosome. Thank you for watching.